Let's go over the three steps to writing an exponential function in the form y equals c times a to the x going through two points. So our first step is going to be to find c. c is whatever the y value is when x is 0. So the y value when x is 0 is 10. That's our initial amount. Our second step is to find a by using the non-zero point. So we're going to plug into y equals c times a to the x, and we're going to use the other point that we're given, 4, 800. So we have our x and our y that we're going to plug into the formula here. So the y value should be 800. c we just said was 10 from our first step. We're solving for a, and the x value it's raised to is the fourth power. So we want to solve for a. First thing we can do is divide both sides by 10. So we get 80 equals a to the fourth. If this was a squared, I'd take a square root, but it's the fourth power, so I'm going to take a fourth root, which means on my graphing calculator, I'm going to use math number five. Math number five allows me to take any number root I want. I want the fourth root of 80, and I'm going to round to two decimal places. So I'm going to get 2.99. My third step is to write the function. So y equals c, which is 10, times a is 2.9. That must be a growth factor to the x. Let's do the same thing all over again with another two points, just to make sure we have it down. First step is to identify C. C is the Y value is zero, so for this one, C is 100. Our second step is to plug in the non-zero point. Y equals C times A to the X. Our non-zero point is 5, 20, as our X and our Y. So I'm going to replace Y with 20. Our value for C that we said in the first step was 100, and we have A to the X power is the fifth. So this one looks different. Last time we went from 0, 10 to 4, 800, so we knew it was growing, versus this one had 0, 100, and it went 5, 20, so it went down. So we should get a decay factor here instead of a growth factor, so it should be less than 1. Let's see what we get. First, we're going to divide both sides by 100. So we have 20 divided by 100, which we can actually just make a nice decimal of 0.2. And that is a to the fifth. So if it was a to the third, I would take the third root. a to the fourth, we did the fourth root. This is going to be a fifth root problem to get a by itself. I'm going to round to two decimal places again. So I'm going to do math number five. And I'm going to do the fifth root of 0.2. So in that math section, you can change the root by selecting option five. And rounding to two decimal places, a is about 0.72. Which makes sense. We should have gotten a value for a less than one so that it could be a decay factor instead of growth factor like last time. We have y equals 100 times 0.72 to the x as our final answer. We found the initial value, the decay 